Regigigas is like the worst legendary, but it can be an absolutely insane Pokemon. It's got some wild legendary fitting stats and it's actually pretty scary with its base 160 attack and 100 speed. The problem, it has the worst ability in the game. Slow start makes it so that for the first five turns it's in, its attack and speed are cut in half. It's damn near impossible to make this thing work, but it can get a little bit of help from its solid HP and defensive bulk. I like to run Stab Body Slam for a chance to get a para, which makes Reggie's life a little easier in wasting slow start turns with a little bit of luck. And with Drain Punch and Leftovers Recovery, we can grab some much needed health to stall as long as possible, and even use Rest to heal ourselves to full. We pair that with Sleep Talk to try to get attacks off while we're asleep, and when Slow Start wears off, it's time to unleash its full power. Regigigas might not be very good, but it's actually kind of fun to try to get him going. Look, today we're busting out the big guy. Someone's gotta do it, and you know, that's what I'm here for. And if you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it only takes you a second, I promise you will not regret it. And let's go ahead and jump into the match. All right, so my opponent is gonna go ahead and lead off with the Ambipom. Now, this thing's a little bit interesting. I decided to lead off with the Bastiodon, and this lead is not really great for me because this Bastiodon is designed to be kind of a sturdy red card user where if they touch me, it kind of stirs things up, forces them to switch, and that means that they're gonna go for that fake out, and unfortunately, I'm gonna be like, hey, actually, I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to step out of here. I, I bounce him out like security at the club, and that's gonna force in something random here. Now, I would like to get my Stealth Rock up, of course, however, I am going to be flinched here. So, this actually ends up bringing in the Okie Doge, which my red card is betraying me here as, now I'm weak to a fighting move, and this thing also has potential to set up. However, I'm gonna kinda just scout what this thing wants to do, and it turns out it is gonna go ahead for the setup and start getting some bulk ups in. And I'm just like, hey, don't mind me, I'm gonna lay down these here rocks and just have my weird little shield face time. So. This thing is definitely a problem. My team does not like fighting types currently, and I do not have a whole lot of answers to switch into this. However, you know, Bastiodon has pretty much no business staying in here. Now, what I end up doing in the long run is I'm gonna end up going into the Meganium. Reason is because you know, I'm physically defensive. Obviously, this thing does have the coverage uh, to knock me out with something like a Gunk Shot or you know, a Poison Jab. I come in on a Drain Punch, punches me right in my big ass neck and that's gonna do a lot. Basically, this thing comes in as a sack, and sometimes when you're working with the Meganium, you switch them in to die and then try to get uh, some momentum back. So they do go for the gunk shot there. There's always the chance for that to miss, actually you know, a pretty solid chance. However, they do in fact hit, and down goes the Meganium. So not the greatest start here, but there's one way that I can try to take advantage of this, and that is with a couple different normal type fellas. First of all, I'm gonna go into the Porygon. Now, Porygon 2 with the Eviolite, even though this thing is trained to be specially defensive, I know that I, I should be able to take one Drain Punch, as long as that's their highest damage fighting move. So, they of course do go for that Drain Punch. I live it with 18 HP, just hanging on by a damn inch of my life over here, and that allows me to go for the Thunder Wave. If I want to have any chance to try to get some stuff rolling against the Oki, I'm going to need a nice little para there. So, that's gonna slow this thing down, also give us some solid chances to get some uh, some paralyzed rolls. And at this point, I'm actually faster, the most aerodynamic Porygon 2 in the damn world. I'm able to get a little bit of damage off on it there, however, they do break through the para. And the Drain Punch is gonna both knock me out and give him a little bit of uh, that little health that I had left. So, I'm officially, I'm two mons down, and I really gotta try to get some stuff going. You know who is always ready to get some stuff going? Slowly, is Regigigas. I'm gonna bring this thing in, and I imagine this dude is just happy to be able to stretch his legs. We're making it out the temple with this one. I come in, and of course, now the timer starts for the slow start. So, of course, I'm susceptible to getting absolutely bopped by a plus one drain punch here, and that is why we come fully equipped with the old Terra Ghost. People love to try to punch this thing, but with my cool new ghostly hat, we are going to, you know, be able to avoid that, which is really nice because not only does it, you know, not able to get any damage this turn, but I can actually outspeed, hit him with a body slam to do essentially nothing. But if they did try to go for an attacking move and not get paralyzed there, it wastes a turn. And now we're on four more turns until we're at maximum power here. So my plan is to just stay in here and click body slam. The problem about them uh, seeing that I turn into the ghost is that they likely have the coverage in the form of knockoff and as the thing is actually getting pretty unfortunate rolls on the para I'm just continuing to sit on buddy as he does break through get that knockoff and that nearly kills me It brings me down to 21 
HP, which is wildly unfortunate, but it's looking like it is nap time out here. I'm gonna go for the rest, and while they did knock off my leftovers, that does suck for me, but with the rest, I'm able to get back to full HP, and we are just whittling away at those five slow start turns. Um, so, the good news about being knocked off there is actually the fact that, you know, now I don't have the leftovers, and knockoff is not gonna hurt nearly as much. We're also getting extremely lucky on full para turns here on this Okie Dogie, and they really do not want to switch, uh, you know, to lose that bulk up. So, luckily, I am working with the sleep talk. We can talk in our sleep and also punch in our sleep as I do roll uh, a drain punch there, and this thing gets fully paralyzed again. This Okie Dogie is having a bad time, but it's a good time for us because finally we get our act together, and now we can harness the full power of Regigigas at this point. So, I'm gonna end up going for another sleep talk. I have two attacking moves and a pretty solid chance to get one of them. Luckily, I do actually get the body slam and we are out here just killing bitches on our sleep because Regigigas is absolutely the goat like that. So, down goes the Okie Dogie, and now we are in a spot where we are in full form with the Regi, which is, is tough to do. <laughs> Five turns is a lot. So, they decide to go into the slow bro here and I'm gonna go ahead and predict a wake up and just try to get a body slam here. So, of course, uh, the Slowbro has the chance for the Quick Draw, and that's going to allow it to go first. And it's also, a lot of the time, paired with the Quick Claw. But we don't care how fast you might be, because I do get a pair of with the Body Slam. And they decide to go for the Nasty Plot here. So, it's an interesting move, because first of all, their mistake was underestimating the Reggie. Because I'm doing well over half with the Body Slam. And now they're going to roll the chance to get that Quick Draw to activate to do some big damage. But, it does not activate for him, and Regigigas is out here running quick as hell able to grab our next knockout. So, we are feeling pretty good at this point. As they decide to go into the Iron Bundle, I have so much HP that I know that I can surely take any attack this thing wants to throw at me. And luckily for us, they do not have a Ghost type because obviously we're hard walled by ghosts, but uh, this here Santa Claus is about to get his bundle stolen. He goes for that Ice Beam, and after a critical hit, it's actually gonna do barely half. I can then punch the living hell out of him, and we just suck the Christmas spirit straight out of him, pause. But that is gonna obviously take care of Iron Bundle, uh, who does not want to take any attacks in general, especially from my base 160 attack having ass. So here's the thing, they're down to just a few mons left at this point, and they decide to go into Azumarill. They're gonna need a lot of offensive pressure if they want to try to turn the momentum around here. I, of course, am just gonna go for the Body Slam, and considering that Azumarill relies a lot of the time on priority, um, I should be faster here, you know, with that base 100 speed. I'm not invested in it, but Regigigas is pretty quick when slow start goes away. So, they actually decide to go ahead and commit the Terra here. They're gonna go for the Terra Fairy, which leads me to believe uh, maybe they're just trying to get as much damage as possible, you know, with a play rough or something like that. But, of course, I do outrun him. I go for that Body Slam. That is gonna do a whole bunch of damage, and they actually click the Belly Drum, which is fantastic for us. Like I said, they're probably banking on the fact that I do less than half there, allow them to get the Belly Drum, uh, and then put pressure with the, the Aqua Jet. And I don't blame him, because a Belly Drum to Zoom Roll is one thing that could help him out here, but one more Body Slam turns his ass into a heart-shaped pancake, and that is gonna be the end of the Zoom Roll. So, they are down to one Pokemon left, and it is going to be the Cleaver. So, it turns out the Regigigas is grinding some gears out here because they do, in fact, just turn their switch off, and that is actually kind of hilarious. Listen, Regigigas is a horrible Pokemon, and I just really wanted to see if I could get this thing to work, and uh, it turns out, yeah, that, that, boy, that boy put in some work. He's actually, it's actually pretty fun to get going, if possible, but uh, obviously there's got to be some circumstances, and I thought that was just kind of hilarious. So, listen, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. I really do appreciate all the support, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.